everyone, I'm the Leprechaun and welcome back to Hello Charlotte episode 3. Last time, Charles nearly got himself thrown out a window. And, uh... Yeah. Nothing, everything is still kind of not making sense. Hang on. I have no idea what we're going to find in Mum's room, so I just keep uh, saving before we go in. Oh well, yeah, she's always in bed. Hey Mum. Mother. The weather is good today. Feel like going for a walk? I'm sorry. I don't feel like getting up. Big mood. It's okay, you don't have to force yourself. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It's just that I'm afraid of getting up or doing anything for that matter. Is there a specific reason for it? Not really. I just start panicking and suddenly feel tired like never before. I see. Shouldn't the pills help? We've run out of them, remember? I signed up for an appointment, but you know how our healthcare system works. Just a month more to wait. Wish it came sooner, right? Right. I'm glad you understand. It's okay, Mother. I'll study hard and become a doctor. Then you won't have to worry about anything. Don't push yourself too much, dear. <laughs> Be a good... Oh, shit. Uh, I assume this is Charlotte? I wake up unable to move my limbs. Oh shit. Oh. Oh yeah, that happened! Um, also, sorry if you can hear anything going on outside my window. Um, I have it open because it's just too warm in the apartment to keep windows closed. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts! Well, of course. I stabbed you and threw you out the window. One would expect to have at least a few broken bones. Hyde wasn't great enough to kill you anyways. Either. What the actual hell? Hey, mind your manners. Oh! <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why is it, I wonder? Maybe it's because I'm sick of you hurting others. Maybe it's because there's no one else left to punish you for your deeds. Oh, really? We're playing heroes and villains now. Hey. Know your place. Ugh. If you hurt Miss Warhol ever again, I'll break more than your legs. So, so she's the victim now. All right, all right, I'll shut up. But in, but what in the world do you want to achieve by showing me all of this? <laughs> oh wow! I missed a whole lot of that. Whoops. Thank you for your attention. As you may have noticed, I'm aware of your pro- Is that- Oh my god, is she talking to me now? Shit. By now you should be aware that Miss Welch has been terrorizing the whole floor for a long time. Shut it, either. You don't know anything about this world. Or the person you're talking to. Just who are you protecting? A bunch of NPCs whose only la line is a laughing track? Shh. You're in no condition to speak. Why don't we beat you back into shape? Says Scarlet as she crushes my head with a bat. Oh fuck. <clears throat> with that done, we can have some privacy. You see, I have the most vivid memories of True Realm. So by using Link and connecting with Wiltshire, I can show you the truth of this world. That's what you're here for, right? Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze! One second! Oh, I can feel that one burning my nose. Right. Yeah. Just wait a little more and I'll show you everything. Oh. <laughs> is, is that a promise? Scarlet turns to Charlotte's corpse. God, what am I even doing? This makes no s This makes me no better than Wilshire herself. And I can't protect anyone if I play by the rules. Well then. There we go. I'm going to need this eye. What? <laughs> 
Oh my god, don't take her eye. Did she... Oh my god. Oh, hey kiddo. Hey kiddo. Slept well? Charles. Thank god. Oh my, did the world end? You're happy to see me. Yeah, well, sort of. How did I end up in the infirmary? I found you lying unconscious in the garden, so I carried you here. What happened? Nothing. Sorry, I thought I had my phone ringing. Nothing much. Hilo wants to ruin my shell, and she's obsessed with murdering me. Just like everyone in this godforsaken place. Is that so? This is strange. Why? How is she any different from the Tulpa that tormented you? So she knows. Oh, okay. She shouldn't know. Wait, how do you know about that? Ah! Tumblr. <laughs> she was the one who linked with me. We'll talk about this later, okay? Just assume that I know about your past and give me the answer to my question for now. How is she any different? You see, this world Scarlet Isler is based on my imaginary construct of her. She's the sister I wanted to have. Not the reflection of my own self that I wanted to disappear. She isn't... supposed to be hostile. I can't fathom what could be driving her. Ugh. How can you be so sure? You have so many awful memories of her, and you expect her to be reborn as the same person. Oh, whatever, I'm sick of this. I'll just use Mother's power and sort her out myself. What? Please try to refrain from doing that. I told you about the consequences, didn't I? Once you get your wish granted, your story will end immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's like a one-time use cheat code. But this is hazardous consequences. Don't tell me what to do, okay? Besides, right now I just want to go home and sleep. You need me to accompany you? Nah, no, you talk too much. Aww. Plus, it's a new body anyway. I can move properly this time around. Please remember that you shouldn't abuse this, too. Yeah, yeah, take care. Interesting. I'm home. Aiden? Anyone? Oh well, bedtime. Um, my educational program at school began. On Monday I got laughed at in class. On Tuesday my bag got stolen. On Wednesday I got dunked into a toilet. On Thursday I got assaulted in the changing room. On Friday I was made to eat dirt. On Saturday, I decided, I will not give in. I will not become a victim. I will not get soaked in ugly colors. I will not become tainted. No matter what it takes, I will stay pure white. <sighs> hmm. This many surgeons. I'm awake! Oh! I get sleeping like a lot. Voices. Strangers. I have to keep quiet. In all honesty, I don't feel too good about this. I just hope that Uncle's theory is correct. Cheers, Mr. Hanukkah. You're always so sour. If memory cubes can be extracted, soul cubes can too. Right? That's how it was in theory, at least. I do understand that Uncle wants to discover the secret to immortality, but relax, it's not the first time we've done this, right? So why don't we take a break, go get some soap in the meantime. You should seriously put down on it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, it's not like she'll wake up any soon. I'm awake! I am wide awake! No way. Give me time to escape? This must be a coincidence. You don't care about me. In any case, I have to get out. I have a bad feeling about this. If Huxley's involved, the Maiden's gone completely mental. I have no one ready to rely on. My head's spinning. What kind of drug was that? I can barely move a muscle. Oh, I don't like the slow. Oh my god. There's an air vent. I need to get up there. Shit. Yeah, please! 
fucks it right up. Oh, is it meant to be? Oh, great. Okay, try again. There we go. All right, I'm good to go. Whoa! Speedy. I'm gonna see. Yeah. Maybe I should wait here until the morning comes. What do you mean she's gone? She has to be around here somewhere. Nope, that is not an option. No, I know, jeez. She isn't that good at hiding as far as I know. Let's look around a bit. Oh <gasps> no! Oh god, oh god, um... I can't. Oh my god, oh fuck, I fucked it. She's gonna die. Good thing I saved! Oh, damn it! I was so close! Shit. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm completely and absolutely shaken. Okay, in. Okay, come on. Let's go, go, straight for the vent. Straight. Go, go, go. Move! Come on! Charlotte! Hurry! Oh, Christ. Oh my. So this is where most of my bodies go. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh, Christ! should have hidden your bodies. Ah! It's a bad ending. Okay, how interesting. Definitely a good job we saved when we did. Okay. Into the pile of bodies. Sure! They won't notice. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> uh, are they? Plus, Dr. Huxley wouldn't like it if we touched his experimental material. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Looks like they left, but it may be a trap. I have to be careful with the timing. Can't wait too long, but can't make her. Okay. Oh no, that's the place I can't go in. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Okay. Hey, hey, we've got an achievement. Oh, go away! Here you are. Oh, for crying out loud. She just keeps dying. Huh. I just got an achievement saying survivor, and I'm like, well, that was a fucking lie, wasn't it? God, how long is this game? Oh, Christ. Sunny day outside. The great sea with a small hand wave and let out a sigh of relief. Thank God his face isn't distorted. He flinches and his whole body content becomes tense. But as soon as he realizes it's me, he loosens up a little. Are you alright? God, what am I saying? Of course he isn't. Wait. It was C who was it was this guy who was being beaten up. It wasn't Charlotte. Uh, yeah. It's nothing. For a second I thought I'm being pranked. 
thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. To be honest, I didn't think I could do it alone. Don't mention it. See a shore suddenly. For some reason I al I'd always thought he'd be the taller one of out of the two of us. It was just a flight of stairs, but I he's completely out of breath. <laughs> Looks like PE isn't your best subject. <laughs> Seems like it. Are you disappointed I look like this? No. No, you don't look like a Lovecraftian nightmare to me, I don't say. Gods, look at you. The only difference there is between you and your icon are those deep eye bags. And, well, you're a midget. That counts too. It's you who should be disappointed in me, Mr. C. <laughs> you're more vitriolic in real life. And it's the sad reality of online chats. Charlotte turned out to be Charles. Whoops. I bet you wanted to see the girl of your dreams. <laughs> I don't think buddies or names are important. It's you who's standing before me right now. That's all that matters. In all honesty, I'm relieved. I'm more alike than I originally thought. If you say so. It's too bad you don't know Scarlet either. By the way, may I ask for your real name? Like, not an online handle. <laughs> sure. It's Vincent. Vincent from... Oh, I see. It's nice to meet you, Charles. Likewise. I'm glad I got to meet you in person before you. Uh, an awkward pause falls between us. I wait for an explanation. A crack in his defences, a breakdown, but none comes. There's only the deafening silence. I have to say something. Anything. May I ask, how did you come up with this? This whole universe birth theory. <laughs> Vincent gathers himself a little. I've thought about it a lot. And concluded that all our souls are the source of material for universes confined in our bodies. When a person dies, their soul data gets released like a, and explodes like a big bang. And then a new, new universe is born. It can become a hellish place or one alike to paradise depending on your mind state. That's why there are myths of heaven and hell. So it's like a world that consists entirely of you? One could put it that way, yes. Everything that you are inside gains shape and form and life is born. So it's entirely possible that our world is just someone's mind taking shape. Exactly. And I'm not against the possibility that the entirety of our life was scripted in advance. And the cruel gods up above us would definitely laugh at us. That would just be the worst, don't you think? <laughs> right. But then, the ending to our stories would already be predetermined. Say, what would you do if you became a god? I'd cleanse this disease-stricken world of all contamination. I... I don't think I'm cut out for that. Gods are creators. Even when I tried not to write my own story, all I did was take your setting and twist it to my liking. I'm not original at all. And my writing has too many plot holes and pandering. My story's protagonist is a little girl, too. Everyone and their dog has already done it. Even when writing villains, I end up falling on into cliches like demons and contracts and such. Allow me to argue with that on this matter. I think it's not the originality of an idea, but it's execution that matters most. I agree. Honestly, I agree. Um, like, I love reading the same AU written by different people because it's just seeing how that person interprets um, the thing. It's really cool. It's so easy to dismiss concepts as overused. But isn't it a wonderful feeling when you accomplish, ma accomplish making a sincere story? Moreover, I believe everyone can get better with time. So see himself a web celebrity. <laughs> right. Well then. Vincent looks down. He's barely holding on. He's barely holding up. I take off my glove and reach out. Oh. Wait, are they gonna... It's the only way of comfort I know. In the corner of my eye, I see him bring... Oh. It's not my decision to make. 
We know nothing about Vincent. All I've ever seen was this blinding icon on the screen. I don't know him at all. Vincent smiles at me. I know what death feels like. White is truly a cruel color. Uh, um, well, see you in the heavenly kingdom. See you. Hey, Vince. You don't have to do this. Why become a god of some unknown place when you're already the god of my world? Don't you know that space is empty? Don't you know that nothing exists beyond this world? And it occurs to me that maybe he doesn't believe in anything. That maybe he made up that story to, just to convince himself that it's going to be okay. That maybe all he wanted was to... Vincent lets go of my hand. <laughs> Too late. I lose my balance and lose forward a little. Fear overwhelms me. I feel weak and my knees and stagger back, falling onto the concrete floor, panting heavily. In the end, I let go of his hand. I couldn't follow him anywhere. I left for mother. And that's how it should always be. I can't leave this world before she does. That's what I decided for myself a long time ago. Scarlet eyelids soaring behind my back. She's muttering something along the lines of good riddance. Get back here, you idiot. Didn't I take the pills? Vincent fell. I called the ambulance and ran, ran, ran away. All ended well. There was nothing to be sad about. In a far, far away land lived the quiet god. He never uttered a single world and lived his life in solitude. It was his creation who lumped together and couldn't stop talking. He must be sad, said a few. He must be suffering, pondered some. He must be lonely, claimed many. But contrary to their beliefs, the quiet god was happy, surrounded by the comfortable silence, wandering in the space of this. He wondered many things, like how could they endure all this noise, or how could they use languages not to connect but to hurt each other, and how could they feel so alone when they're surrounded by so many. And when the quiet god got tired, the darkness engulfed him and held him in its embrace, without a word. As his followers cried, how cruel, how unforgiving he is. The quiet god slept. Can't you leave me alone already? There's no way I'm doing that. Not after what happened. It's getting harder to breathe all over again. I desperately gasp for air, trying to stay conscious, trying to stay sane. All I see before me is Vincent's body. Human. Real. Mangled on the ground. He's gone. 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 You really are a worthless child. I knew meeting that person would be a bad influence on you. I should have protected you from him. It's you who I need protected from. Whoa! It's you whom I need protection from, you monster. Say, why don't you disappear? Scarlet Isla obstructs my line of vision and cups my face with her hands. They're cold as ice. Hey, listen. I'm here because I'm the only one who can save you. Without me, you won't amount to anything. Do what I say and we'll be fine. Forget about this false god of yours and think of the person who has always been there for you. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Cover my ears and try not to scream. Henri? Mother? We're getting further away! I s no. Are we? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, hey. Henri is on her phone, absorbed in social networks. Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Look at the drama I sent you yesterday. Oh my god, this really blew up. Right? That's mob mentality for you. Alas, are strained. Unnatural. We sit in silence for a while. Um. Listen, I know it might not be the time for it, but there's something I haven't told you yet. What is it? I'm moving to another town next month. Believe me, I try to talk to my parents, but they never listen. 
Oh. Is it far from here? Around six hours by bus. <laughs> I see. So you're leaving too, huh? This means the end of our play pretend relationship. You know, Charlie, I wish I could go far, far away from here. From my asshole brother, my parents, the girl groups I'm in. I'm so tired. Tired, tired, tired. That's all you ever say. How the world's unfair, how everyone's unfair. It's not my fault, boo-hoo. I'm sick and tired of your complaining. I've never met your shutten brother to begin with. He could be a corpse for all night. Oh. Charlie? Henry. <laughs> I know. Why don't we run away together? What? Make up your mind! Are you? For real? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, well, I can book a hotel. <laughs> Let's skip school tomorrow, alright? As we set out on our journey. Wow. So they actually ran away. Um. Well, this was a very heavy episode. Like, damn. Um, hmm. Uh. This game is really keeping me on my toes, but I think I'm piecing things together a little bit uh, better now. I'm interesting to see how this all ends up playing out. It'll definitely be interesting. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps leave it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I will see you next weekend for whatever I'm playing then. So, yeah. Bye-bye.